So I was just applying my lower lash mascara and I just remembered that I asked you guys for some recommendations and somebody asked for a tutorial basically on like how to apply lower lash mascara, which is so difficult. A lot of people don't show it because you have to get so close to the mirror. It's a whole thing, but I'm going to try to give you some tips so that you're, you know, not all over the place getting mascara everywhere. Um, hopefully this helps. I don't know. So the lower lash mascara that I use is going to look ridiculous. A lot of you might know it's the, um, Buxom Extrovert mascara. It has a gigantic wand. Okay. So you're going to be like, what? Like, why do you use this on your lower lashes? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for whatever reason, it just makes them so ridiculously long. I love it. I only use it on my lower lashes. It's the weirdest thing. So I'm gonna try to show you how I do it because I always do this off camera. So I get ridiculously close to my mirror. I have just like a mirror, just like a mirror. The best thing to do is like when you're doing your upper lashes, the best thing to do is like tilt your mirror up towards you so that you're looking down and then doing this so that you're not getting all of your mascara up on your lid, right? The opposite is going to be true for your lower lashes. What you wanna do is kind of like tilt your, well, the mirror doesn't really matter, but you want to kind of like have your head going like this, like tilting your head down because you're basically trying to keep your lashes as far away from like your under eye as you possibly can, especially if, and I wish I had this problem, you have super long, uh, I was gonna say under eye lashes, lower lashes, like what? Anyway, so now I'm kind of like, I am also just because of my like weird, this weird angle that I have to be on, I'm sort of tilting my mirror up tilting my head forward and I like to kind of squint a little bit because I feel like it it pushes my um, this part of my eye forward a little bit if that makes sense you can you see that I don't know if you can see it on camera it's like very strange to film this but um when I do that it kind of like pushes that area forward and I just do this I just kind of do like back and forth motions so this kind of thing and then pulling down to coat them. And I usually do two coats and I know it's so easy to get mascara everywhere no matter what, trust me, it happens to me all the time. The best thing to do is apply, uh, just continue, just like keep applying. If you get it on your lower lash line or your upper lash line, your lid, whatever, let it sit, wait until it's completely dry, take a Q-tip, buff it away. I am gonna go in with another coat. I'd already done this side into before I like realized that I should film this for you guys. So now, do you guys see me? I'm gonna do a crazy mascara face. Trust me, they help. Get in there, wiggle it around, pull down. Now the reason that I like this one is because I can kind of like use the end, especially like over here where it's hard. and just take your time with it. And that's literally it. I kind of like my lashes when they look a little like thick and clumpy. I don't know about you guys. It reminds me of like Twiggy and shit. Um, I don't know if this was helpful, but hopefully it was. I'm gonna link, 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 list all my favorite mascaras down below um, from thick wand to tiny precise wand, um, including waterproof if transfer is a problem for you. I would say very occasionally I get transfer with this formula. It's mostly like, is my under eye wet? I gotta set my under eyes. If you have that problem, like a lot of transfer, just make sure that you're setting the area that's like, tends to get the transfer, like throughout the day or whatever. Uh, all right guys, I hope that helped. I don't know. Please leave me your recommendation, video recommendations down below or um, like very specific videos like this that are like simple, but you just, you need to see it. Let me know. Okay, bye.